I don't want... Hey, Lydia, I have something for you. Oh, wow! That's the doll I saw with Daddy! You really have met him! Yeah, do you want to go see him? Yeah, let me just... Hey, who's that? Lydia? Lydia? Let's have a look. It's... it's full of dirt. The dirt's moving. It's full of worms. Oh, god, gross. There's something in there, too, but there's no way I'm plunging my hand into that teeming mess. I'll just scoop some of this dirt away. Huh. It's my knife. I'll take that. Huh. Is that music coming from the bar? Is Floyd finally back? Cause I could sure use a fucking stiff drink right about now. Hey. Hey, Floyd? Ah, yes, Miss Davenport. So nice to see you again. Please take a seat. I'd rather stand, but... But... Gavin. Hello, Alex. Oh, Gavin. Oh, God, Gavin. To see your face again. <laughs> How could you leave me like that? How could you do this to me? Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me what an ass I was being? Would that I could, sweetheart. What do you mean? It was uncharacteristic, wasn't it? I mean, we've had fights before, haven't we? Yeah, I just... You told me you were sick of it. Sick of me. You hurt me so fucking bad, Gavin. You reached into every single wound you know I have and poked the fuck around. All because I made a mistake? A mistake you could have so easily rectified? Let me pour you a drink, babe. Fine. Gin. Straight. It must all be so confusing. I... I wasn't prepared for all this. I thought I'd led a simple life. I thought this would be easy. It's never easy. Everyone has secrets, even that Lang fellow. You'd think he'd be the most boring guy in existence, but he had a lot of skeletons in his closet, let me tell you. Why are you here? Why are you on the train? How long have you been here? Since you came aboard. It's different for whoever rides old Gloria. There's always a Don, there's always a Floyd. But for you two, they were us. We're all connected in ways you were only just beginning to understand. This is bigger than us, Alex. We are all the children of Augur Peak, and we're all going home. You can thank Katerina when you see her. She's found something on that island, something that's changed the sepulcher forever. Anyway, you'll find out soon enough. Kat's story is a tale for another day. Yours hasn't ended yet. And what about Lang? I, I can't talk to you about Lang. Why not? Because I want to talk about me. Huh. How unusual. Hey, we're not fighting anymore, remember? Sorry. Sorry. I've just grown so used to hating you lately. Those times on the phone just after we broke up. You were so hurtful, so hateful. And it killed me too, Alex. The things we're forced to say with a gun to our heads. What do... Call me, Alex. It'll explain everything better than I could. What the hell? 
Okay. Rob? Gavin? Explain. You'll never guess who I bumped into as I left your party that night. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. Oh, Alex. It was meant to be. It was so perfect. There he was, weeping in the hall, and there I was, the good neighbour, your friend, with a shoulder to cry on and a pot of coffee on the stove, so we could give you some time without going too far. So we could wait it out, make his triumphant return after your friends had left. Everything would have gone back to the way it was. He would have continued defiling you. I could hear you both, you know, through the walls, hear the terrible things he did to you, how he forced you to moan in pleasure, to pretend to be enjoying it, how you were conditioned to be debased and defiled by these dirty fucking boys. That's fucked. That's so, so fucked. I am not some victim for you to save from consensual adult relationships. Robert, I'm not your daughter. I am not Lydia. What the fuck do you know about Lydia, Alex? Mm, tip for tat. Let's exchange stories. Yes. Yeah. She was coming to visit me. My dear, sweet Lydia. No! No, that's not how it happened at all! She wasn't there. We searched the train, frantically. Nobody could remember seeing her. Couldn't remember where she'd gotten off, if she'd even been on in the first place. Nothing. Nothing. Eventually they gave up searching. But I knew, I knew, Alex, that my baby was out there somewhere, dead, just waiting to be found, that I couldn't save her. But then I met you, and I saw how you needed saving. You remind me of the woman Lydia would have grown up to become. I'm not your fucking daughter, Robert. Now tell me about Gavin. Well, I couldn't have that, that dirty boy putting his hands all over my beautiful porcelain doll. I couldn't have it. I'm a pharmacist, you know. I know how to do things to people. To drug them. To knock them out. To paralyse them. A few cuts here and there. A few threats. And I know how to make them say what I want them to. You should have... Oh, you should have seen the look on his face as he made those phone calls to you, as I pressed the knife to his balls and whispered, Keep going. And you should see him now, four months and still alive. Had to remove his other leg last weekend. No good now. Not with the gangrene. Amazed you've never noticed the smell. It's incredible how compliant someone is when they know the person they love is just across the hall. Incredible how easy it is to keep someone alive while locked in a tiny, tiny room. And... And he wasn't dirty anymore. I cleaned him up. I did. Made him a porcelain doll. Just like you. A frozen porcelain doll. Gavin? This isn't true, is it? This is just one of the sepulchre's fucked up fantasies. It's true. I'm there. I'm alive. Of course, so is Robert, at least for the time being. It's probably about time a neighbor noticed the smell and called the cops. Would you like that, eh, Robert? No, I like you better with your tongue cut out, Gavin. Well, that explains why the phone calls stopped, Alex. Well, there's not much left to take. He's just a head on a torso now. Oh, it's beautiful, Alex. He is the perfect man. You are so, so fucked up. You are fucking fucked. I hope you fucking die and rot in hell, you piece of shit. What is going on here, kids? That lying fella's trying to get some sleep. You're all screaming loud enough to wake the dead. 
Evening, Floyd. Evening, Donald. Oh, aye. Let's see how it is. Made fair good time on this one, lassie. Floyd, a whiskey, if you'd be so kind. Coming right up, sir. Anyways, don't let old Don get in the middle of your dramatic revelation, kids. Don't mind me. I'm just taking the weight off my feet. Pretend like I'm not here. So now what? You have to end this. Nah. Gavin, can you help me? I'm just the barman, Alex. All I can do is watch and listen. Don, what should I do? Don't reckon I know, lass. Get rid of that one. I would. Rob, just... We can get you help. Leave. Turn yourself in. Don't reckon it works like that, does it? It's your head you've got to get him out of. I'm not leaving. Rob, just... Don't reckon it... I'm... I don't th Nah. I don't think Nah. Floyd. Donald. Don't reckon that's how it was meant to go, do you? Can't say I do, no. This one. He's reaching through, isn't he? Looks that way. Oh, Logger's not going to be happy about this. I guess that's just the way it goes sometimes. Can't interfere. Cassell? No. Don't! I'm sorry. I don't want to be alone right now. You can't hear me anyway. I wasn't... I wasn't prepared. Not for this. I thought I'd see him. Keith. My father. Instead I found... this. I don't know what was real. Rob, Gavin, Carly, Lydia, and you, Dr. Harold Lang. I bet you thought you weren't going to make it here tonight, like I did. I don't think either of us made it here tonight. The train's stopping. I hope you wake up, Dr. Lang. I hope we both wake up. There's a fog rolling in. I can barely see the town. Well, that's gonna make today's work even more fun. Goddamn. Still, Harry and Alex should be here later today. I hope they had a safe journey. <laughs> <laughs> 